What it do, gang? We back with another one today. Um, I got another reaction video for y'all. Uh, I don't want to talk too much about it. I, I already watched the video. Um, definitely touched me in a, in a way, but uh, let's get into the video. Let's get it. They are stalking us. Recording my kids playing in the yard. I wouldn't wish this on my worst enemy. I tried to hold it in, I'm sorry. So I got the job at Frito-Lay in January of 2011. Prior to Frito-Lay, I was in the United States Navy. Leaving the service, he just needed to matter. He needed to belong. Sorry about that, y'all. And have a purpose. We both thought he found that in Frito-Lay. And so we kind of centered our life around it. I worked hard. I bust my butt every day, in and out. Shit, <laughs> my wife was gonna divorce me because she didn't even think I was at work for real. No, I did not believe. My husband just spent 20 hours at work. No one would believe that. He's not a doctor. It's chips. It's chips and dip. I went on a stretch one time of like 26 days in a row. My man said he gave him 26 days in a row. Y'all never, never work so hard for something that you don't own. You know what I'm saying? And I mean that respectfully, for real. Because this, this is the type of shit that happens when you do work hard for other people. Not on no funny shit, respectfully, for real. Was using the dock door, you press the button and it automatically does what it's supposed to do. I got electrocuted. I was taken to the ER, but the emergency room they took me to was 45 minutes away. We passed four hospitals on the way to- Hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. So this man just got electrocuted at his job, they drove him 45 minutes away and it was four hospitals within a range of where he worked at. That shit crazy, man. That shit crazy. The hospital they wanted to take me to. And the reason it is is because they signed a contract with a certain hospital and okay. a certain network. I get it, but the still, though, very next he, he could have died. The accident. Fuck the contract y'all signed. That's his life we talking about. He was working really hard to even just get up on to the side of the bed. And usually he's like hops out of bed and Yuri just puts his clothes on and he shoves food down his throat and he's out the door. You know, in 30 minutes, he was used to it. He was trained to do that in the service. When I say I was healthy as an ox, I was healthy as an ox. We just didn't have any answers. They said he should have been fine, but he wasn't. I didn't get any time off after the incident. Uh, I was... <sighs> I had to call off the next day. As a hold up, hold up, hold up. So my man's got electrocuted. 45 minutes away, hospital drive. Body probably just going through the ringer. And instead of them just being like, oh, just go ahead and take the rest of the week off. You know, call us Monday. Let us know how you're feeling. And then we'll go from there. My man said he had to call off sick the next day. That shit crazy, but y'all... Frito-Lay not missing no money off the strength of hot flames alone. Fuck feeling bad for calling into these jobs when they don't get no fuck about you or you feeding your wife or you feeding your kids. This shit crazy. I told you I was in pain. I told you it hurts when I walk. And it was like, okay, you know, are you going to be here tomorrow? I was a site lead. And I know what that entails. Your leadership of the whole warehouse. Slightly. So, so he yeah, wasn't no knockoff in Frito Lay. He was somebody. I asked for some type of relief, period, because I was still obligated to work, like picking cases and unloading trucks or rotating product on a forklift. I asked for a chair that I could probably that I could sit in that would make me more comfortable while I'm doing my office work. They denied it. You're either a hundred percent or you can't work. It just felt like they was just trying to push me out. But eventually, I got an MRI out, by bro. my primary doctor, and he showed that I had two herniated discs in my back. And he was like, you shouldn't be doing anything. They can only fix it with surgery. And my husband still had to work this whole entire time. That's crazy. to remove two of the discs in my neck because they were bulging into my spinal cord. 
I wasn't getting enough fluid to my brain. If I didn't have the surgery, the doctor said any small fall or accident or something like that, and I would have been paralyzed from the neck down or dead. I still have to have surgery on my lower lumbar spine. From the moment that he couldn't work anymore and needed short-term disability, Frito-Lay abandoned us. I had to file for short-term disability and then long-term disability. Got approved for long-term disability, but that was months later. Whoa. So no income coming in. That's a picture of the car. We were driving. <laughs> and my man got three kids to, to go feed to the so and a wife. Times. And the doctor has to say that you're in this condition over and over and over. But guess what? You don't have any insurance anymore through PepsiCo slash Frito-Lay because they cut you off. I had to pay for that out of pocket too. <laughs> Didn't have the money to do that. So guess what? I borrowed money or used credit cards or whatever I could. <laughs> I even took money out of my kids. <laughs> to take from our children to live. Man, that's crazy, dog. And the doctor knew what was going on. So he was like, look, just half of what you owe every visit, and we'll just take care of the rest of later. I never wanted to have a lawsuit. It's not me. But I did ask for help, and I wasn't getting You could it. tell he a genuine person. Frito-Lay, Pepsi, Sedgwick, whoever has people following my family. They are stalking us. Yeah, of course they do. They trying to record. They trying to see if he okay. They trying to prove that he okay. So they don't got to pay for nothing on the back end. Recording me doing yard work. She crazy. They follow me in traffic on the highway, on streets. They follow me when I gave birth to my We live in a crazy world, bro. They follow me to my daughter's school. I took my daughter out of school and decided to homeschool because I don't know if we're safe. I don't know how many people they've given our address and name and information to Facts. just to prove my husband wrong. Facts. They've done it for years. Why are you fighting so hard to say that I'm not hurt instead of just look at the paperwork, look at the medical stuff, look at everything I'm trying to, bro. You would think that I'm a bad employee the way that everything has went. I've never done anything Facts. wrong with this company or even with this company. I have numerous awards to show that I'm not a person that you just throw away. I knew the sales side of- Hold up. Sales op, Midwest region. Brandon Ingram and hereby recognizes a region expert trainer in the area of Frito-Lay sales op performance-based training. You know what I'm saying? So bro, bro been getting in at Frito-Lay. You know what I'm saying? But I wish all that energy, and I mean this respectfully, I wish all that energy that he was giving to them, that he was putting that into himself. For real, dog, because this, this shit crazy how, how they tried to, I don't even want to say how they tried to do it, how they are doing him. For the operation side, they don't get I no mean, fuck. Yeah, you could have just let me be a lead and just manage instead of physically working. Billion dollar corporations like Pepsi, which owns Frito-Lay, they know this is happening to people. Of course. And they do nothing about it. Of course. My husband shouldn't have to fight for five years over something that took less than five minutes to impact our entire life. Shit, two seconds. Pushing button that work. Push button, button. He can't avoid pushing. He has to push it. It's his job. For a company that talks about diversity and culture and a family-oriented business, <laughs> That's the skin they're trying to sell. Sell motherfuckers to come sign the up, boss. company boys. makes over $200 billion a year, okay? It's chips. But my husband is worth $0 to them because he's no longer able to push those chips. You are a number. You're a piece of property. I bust my butt for them. Blood, sweat, tears, sacrifices, holidays, birthdays. Hold up. You hear my boy? I work my butt off for them. Sacrifice holidays, birthdays, you know what I'm saying? Probably anniversaries. Anybody who watching this, let this just be a lesson right here. Do not be giving these job all your holidays, all your birthdays, all your anniversaries. You know what I'm saying? Because your family, they're going to miss you and they're going to need you. You know what I'm saying? And family come first, period.
I miss so much family things because they make you feel like if you don't do what they say, they will they will let you go. Mm -hmm. And I mean that shit. I don't even know where to go from here. Honestly, it's crazy how people will treat you. Goals and marriage goals and family. And you could be a good person. Are gone, and I, I and they'll treat you just like this. And my goal and hopes and dreams now is for my husband to get back healthy and still be alive with us mm, in the future. It's a beautiful picture. Though. He dodged bullets in the city of St. Louis growing up. He dodged gangs. He stayed out of all of that. He went to war. He dodged bullets and bombs and came back to me. And now he's been electrocuted at work. We don't know what's going to happen from day to day. My husband stops breathing at night in his sleep. I have to wake him up at night to make sure he keeps breathing. I have to help with my children who don't understand they can't jump and play with daddy. I mean, I just went from a very fit guy to a guy who is disabled and can barely just handle regular life stuff. I'm 36. I should be able to play with my kids in the yard. Facts. I just want my life back. Facts. Definitely not wrong, bro. All right, man. I think that was a crazy one for all of us. Um... Uh, don't be giving these jobs y'all all. You know, if if you if you waking up and you sitting 30 minutes in your car, 30 minutes in the bed before you go to work, you need to be rethinking what you're doing and, and move towards happiness for real. You know, really choosing happiness, that's key because if we not choosing that shit, you know, I heard Ken speak on that in one of his videos. He was saying like, if we don't choose happiness, bad decisions come behind not choosing happiness. So you really gotta choose happiness. And I'm a firm believer in that. A uh, piece to Brandon and his family you know, that they get what they need, you know, and uh, hopefully he just really, like, forget the company after that because, you know, your family is more important at the end of the day. Family first, y'all. Uh, if you like the video, go ahead and like it, comment, subscribe. I'm out. Love.